Hello everyone I hope you are enjoying digital teaching In the previous class we discussed about the meaning of geography The word geography comes from the ancient Greek word where the geo means earth and graphy means study Therefore the meaning of geography is the study of the earth Today I have come up with a small activity for that you need to pause the video Look at the picture carefully and arrange them in such a way that it gives you a certain meaning. So, the division of picture look like this. It is divided as per seasons, summer, winter and rainy. Today, we are going to learn lesson number 1, how seasons occur part 1. There are five main seasons: spring, summer, monsoon, autumn, and winter. As our title of the lesson is "How Seasons Occur," it means we are going to find out the reason behind occurrence of season. Students, is there any relation? of occurrence of seasons with revolution of the earth for that we need to understand certain concepts circle of illumination revolution of the earth rotation of the earth and axis of the earth circle of illumination circle of illumination is the division between the day and night over the earth as you can see in the picture the orange line over the earth denotes earth axis the region which faces towards sun is called as day and the region which is away from the earth is called as night revolution the movement of the earth around the sun in a fixed path or orbit is called as revolution orbital motion revolution of the earth is also called as orbital motion the earth takes 365 days plus additional 6 hours to complete one revolution around the sun but how this additional 6 hours are calculated for that we need to understand the concept of leap year Leap year is a year where there are 366 days instead of 365 days. In leap year, the additional 6 hours over 4 consecutive years make 1 day. This is the reason 1 extra day is added in every 4th year. And in month of the February, there will be 29 days instead of 28 days. How to identify leap year? There are some years given on your screen. Can you identify leap years among these? Year which can be divisible by 4 is a leap year. For example, let's take 1994. If we are going to divide it by 4, it is not exactly divisible by 4. Therefore, it is not a leap year. 2020, if it is divided by 4, then it is fully divisible. Therefore, 2020 is a leap year. Orbit It is a path on which the earth revolves around the sun. Students, can you tell what is the shape of the orbit? The shape of the orbit is elliptical, not circular. Our next topic is rotation. The movement of the earth around its axis is called as rotation. It takes 24 hours for the earth to complete one rotation. 
that is equal to one day occurrence of day and night is the result of rotation of the earth axial motion rotation of the earth is also called as axial motion our next topic is axis axis of the earth is an imaginary line on which the earth rotates do you find any difference in this pictures if we talk about similarity then both the pictures are same and both the pictures have black color line which is called as axis of the earth when we talk about differences then the axis of the earth is straight in the first picture and in the second picture the axis of the earth is slightly tilted or inclined in reality the axis of the earth is tilted to 23 and a half degree students you can see two pictures on your screen in the first picture the axis of the earth is straight as a result there will be equal distribution of sunlight on the earth but in reality this situation doesn't exist in the second picture you can see the axis of the earth is slightly tilted as a result there will be unequal distribution of sunlight the regions which are close to equator are called as equatorial regions in this re region there will be maximum sun rays as sun rays are perpendicular on equator therefore the climate will be hot apart from this if you will see the arctic circle to north pole and from antarctic circle to south pole these are the regions which are very cold because in these regions the sun rays reach in a slanting direction due to tilted axis of the earth there is unequal distribution of sunlight on the earth because of which the place which are located at different latitudes will have different temperature and climate students let's summarize what we have learned today we have seen revolution of the earth leap year rotation of the earth circle of illumination and axis of the earth in the next class we will discuss about two important topics equinox and solstice